Hey guys, welcome back to Railroads Online. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the uh, December update and that will lead to a series where we uh, do the new chain. So let's start off with, uh, well let's start off with something small. So if we click on there, click on props, click on uh, here. Supposedly everything with the SM is new. Uh, what we got? A gate? We could put a gate in there. It's a bit big though. Maybe. Um, all right. Wasn't planning to actually put any of this in, but there you go. We've got a gate. So everything there is new, and I think they're more related to the farm than anything else. Next, if we press Escape, go to Options, we go to Gameplay. What we do have now is the fuel consumption, offload medium and high and I think the vehicle distance is in there as well. If we go into graphics we now have the option of direct 11 and direct 12. You do need to restart the game entirely to actually uh, change these. So let's next take a look at the new engines and wagons. Um, so this is the Ferris and Cliff House 242T. It's maximum 30 miles per hour, it has 4,301 pounds of tractive effort and was built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. Uh, I've fired it up. We actually have a new guru as well. Now this isn't finalised they say, but um, the controls look exactly the same as what they were before. You seem to have this bit now. It shows what fuel, what water, and um, is that sand? Possibly. Oh, you can click on these things as well. So next we have a water tanker. Let's see if we can get on top. To interact with this, you will open it, you put the spout over the top, fill it up. Now there is a smaller one as well, so let's take a very quick look at that. Press on there, press on locomotives. And they do have some different decors, paint jobs as well. Where is it? It's that one there. Now we notice the FPS is very low. If I do, it does say it's 59, but it feels like about 20. I can see it dropping. It didn't used to do that. That's interesting. That's it. Same thing. Open the top, put the nozzle over the top. So if you're running the smaller ones, then you can certainly use that. Next, we have a cattle wagon. Right, to use it, you basically there's a platform. Obviously, there's uh, you'll see some cattle in the cattle farm, and they, you click on it, and they will load. You actually see them walking in there, which is quite nice. So this is the meat wagon. Um, there's a couple of variants of colours. Um, it transports meat. Funny enough, it's used on the last of the chain. So you will transport the cattle to the abattoir and. Uh, they will make meat and uh, you transport that back to the freight depot again and uh, that's where you make your money, don't you? Interestingly enough, inside, if you get locked in there, it looks like you can't open the door from the inside. So, yeah, if you're playing multiplayer, please note that. It's very similar to the ones we already got, isn't it? You have a look at them. But these ones will take grain, I believe, so we still need to use those. Now, another little thing they said they fixed is a wall at the um, oil refinery. Now, I didn't see this last time anyway, but uh, I think what we might do is actually dry this one up here and actually go and see if you can actually get there. Well, we can find out when it dries, can't we? The real problem I do have with coal. Oh, another thing they said. They've reworked crouching so you can actually look out the windows now. It's nice. It's much better. We'll have to check that with the, uh, the new locos.
handsome loco, isn't it? Okay, I don't like the judger in. That wasn't there before. Yeah, I don't like that jerkiness. We're going to have to test this out. We'll, we'll, we'll do that another day. Um, with another uh, loco. See if, there's, if this is just this loco or... That's interesting. We're running out of fuel. Maybe we are. Okay, so are there going to be any invisible walls down? There used to be one over there. Let's see if we can actually get through this. So far, so good. I'm going to bash into that now. see no issues here. So I think I think we can be quite sure that it's actually uh, fixed. Oh, one thing I forgot about this engine. Ooh, it's a bit sudden. Yeah, not bad. Right, so I'll drive this back now. Oh, this is an interesting glitch. It came off and now... Start again trying to do it. This gets worse every time. <laughs> well, that is a new glitch. Again, is that just for this loco? Is it actually for others? We have to do more testing. We're going to have a little series, so we'll do it. Oh. We're back on. No, stop. Rewailing. Right, get on now. <laughs> I'll meet you back at the other end. Now, the next update is a quality of life update. So each crane now can take three items, up to three items at once. So when loading, let's pretend there's something here, it will take three. If there's only two left, it will take two. Or if, let's say, you only need one here on the wagon, it will take one. But by default now, it will take three of everything. That's, that's very good. Good update. So for the industries, we will start, as we did in the November update, with seat pallets. And they will get loaded, taken to the, uh, the farm. Now, unlike before, though, we now are required to have uh, water. So the, uh, the farm we'll now need water so if we go to industries we will click on this there's the water well we need to actually put down somewhere so for now we'll put it down here we'll take a look at it from here we can actually see that uh, it works exactly the same as all the other liquids so you pull the spout out it uh, fills the uh, the wagon below and also it's got a lever on there so um, at some point it probably have to be refilled then we head over to the farm so in the November update, all you had to do was take the seeds to here and it would start the production chain. What we've got now, and I did wonder if they'd do something with this. This was here before, but it wasn't actually connected. You take the water tank to around here and then you go, the usual drop off and it drops it into there. Um, 
Who knows, maybe they'll have a tap somehow at some point. Then we'll start to see production the other side. And as with the November update, this is uh, what straw bales. And we get the grain from here. So after the grain farm, we are taken to the cattle farm. So for now, we'll place this here. We're going to do it properly. So I presume the input's going to be this side. There is one. Yep. There we go. So the grain goes in there. I think we can work out this goes. Track goes here. You drop it off inside. We required water again. Is this one or anything? Straw bales. So the two outputs from the previous farm go into there, plus we have water. So we have two outputs. Cattle and I'm presuming cattle again. And we can see old Betsy here is actually uh, waiting to go in. So you park your uh, carriage and we will see them walking in. I think it then glitches onto the actual carriage, but yeah, it will actually at least see them walking in. Very simple stuff. Right, the last last industry we have to have we have to get is the pack meeting plant. Right, so this one's simple enough. The cattle go in here. We also need coal on this one. So I know exactly where we're going to put, be putting this. So the coal will power it. And at the end, we then get meat. Well, I think that's a great new chain to add to the uh, game. And uh, of course we do, we're going to be doing a new little mini series in the uh, next, next couple of days uh, going through the chain. And uh, well, let's see how well we can do. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button. If you'll see more, please subscribe. I said ding dong bell, but you know what it does. See you next time. Bye, see bye.